Hey y'all, welcome back to Make It Dairy Free. I'm Larisha and today we are talking about vegan side dishes. We are nearing the end of official summer, but there is still some more time to get some cookouts in and the side dishes that we are showing you today will help you complete your menu. However, if you are like me, then you will enjoy these side dishes all year round. I cannot be the only one who enjoys a broccoli salad or a potato salad in the middle of winter time. So if you are like me, please comment below and let me know that I'm not alone. We do have a few other side dish videos, so we will link those in the description below, so make sure you check those out. Either way, you're gonna love all of the dishes that we have for you. We're gonna be showing you a super simple, super easy vegan lemon garlic butter asparagus recipe that is great for cookouts or just a side dish for your dinner. It's literally good year round, and it's so good, in fact, that our kids, once I make it, literally just pick it off of the pan and eat it and like run throughout the house. Then we have a cold quinoa salad that is loaded with veggies and topped with vegan feta cheese. It could honestly be a meal completely on its own, so you will have to check out that one if you like to meal plan because it is perfect for something like that. Finally, we are going to show you one of my personal favorite side dishes, which is a vegan broccoli salad. It is packed with flavor and it is so easy to make that you are going to love it no matter what the time of year is. All of these dishes can be top eight allergen friendly, so whether you have allergies in your family or you are actually hosting people that you need side dish ideas for, these are perfect for everyone. So come on, let's show you exactly how to make all three of them. The first dish we are making is our lemon garlic butter asparagus. This dish is perfect whether you are having a cookout or just need a side dish for your next dinner. After rinsing off your asparagus, you are going to trim off the woody stems. The easiest way to do this is to line up your asparagus and cut right where the stems turn from white to green. No need to trash the ends, throw them into a freezer bag until you have enough vegetable scraps to use to make a delicious vegetable stock or you could even make a soup. Inside a bowl, combine melted vegan butter with fresh squeezed lemon juice, some garlic, pepper, and salt. Give that a stir together until it's well incorporated. Now, line up your asparagus on a baking sheet and drizzle that lemon garlic butter mixture all over it. Use your hands or kitchen tongs to move around and make sure that all of the asparagus is well coated. And then lay everything out as evenly and in one layer as possible. You can throw this into the oven or if it's a hot summer day, we love throwing it right onto the grill. It's going to cook for about seven to eight minutes for the thinner asparagus that you see in this video or if you have thicker stalks, it will be about 13 to 15. You want the fork to easily pierce through, enjoy. Next up is this delicious and super easy vegan broccoli salad. The first thing you are going to do is cut the stems off of your broccoli. Y'all know we are all about zero waste food scraps, so don't throw those away. We just don't need them here. Throw them into that veggie stock that we were talking about earlier or throw them into a stir fry or just eat them alongside your dinner. Cut your florets into bite-sized pieces and put them into a bowl. Now, this part is optional, but pour boiling hot water over your broccoli for just three minutes. Then strain and immediately run under cold water to stop the cooking. This helps it not be so much of a crunch, but if you're fine with raw broccoli, then skip that part. In a small bowl, combine vegan mayo or do mashed avocado for oil-free, some apple cider vinegar, red onions, coconut sugar, garlic powder, salt, and pepper, and stir that together really well. If you're using the avocado instead of the mayo, then you'll likely need to add some water or lemon juice to get the consistency that you saw. Set that aside, and then we're going to chop up the rest of our ingredients. We're using red grapes and quartering them, especially if you're feeding children, and then an apple. You want to pick a sweet but firm apple. We like Pink Lady or Fuji for this salad and then chop those into bite-sized pieces. Into a bowl with your broccoli, you are going to add your chopped grapes and apples along with some dried cranberries or you could also do some dried cherries. Then add in the dressing that you just made. You want to take your time and really coat all the ingredients well. You're going to set this into the fridge for at least one hour or you could do overnight as well once it's combined. Right before you serve, add in some vegan bacon bits to take this flavor to the next level. Lightly stir together. Completely optional, but you could also add some unsalted sunflower seeds and vegan shredded cheddar cheese in here as well. Enjoy. Lastly, we have our vegan quinoa salad. If you love veggies, then this is going to be your fave. 
We are going to start by cooking our quinoa according to the package directions, but we are going to swap some water with the vegetable stock for a little more flavor in here. Let this cook according to your package, which is about 15 minutes for most, with the lid on. While that's cooking, we are going to chop all of our veggies. While we love the combination of veggies that we're going to show you here, feel free to get creative with what you have on hand in your fridge too. An entire pint of cherry tomatoes that we are going to quarter and then slice and quarter a whole cucumber as well. Once you have that done, you're going to dice an entire bell pepper. We are using orange here, but use whatever color you have on hand. Remove the seeds, cut into strips, and then dice. Then into a bowl, you are going to add some chickpeas, a diced red onion that we did earlier, and then your bell pepper, cucumbers, and tomatoes. We are also adding in some chopped parsley and cilantro. If you happen to be someone who thinks cilantro tastes like soap, I'll feel sad for you, but you can just replace this with all parsley. Into a bowl, add some oil, fresh squeezed lemon juice, balsamic vinegar, garlic, salt, and pepper. If you are oil-free, you could replace this with tahini, avocado, or vegan plain yogurt for a different spin on this salad. You may need to add water to thin out depending on which option you choose. Give everything a stir together and then set this aside. Remove the lid from your quinoa and fluff up a bit and then add it to your bowl of veggies and add the dressing in as well. Give this a really good stir together and then put it into the fridge until it can cool down. It's about an hour or two or even overnight if you need. Before serving, top with some vegan feta cheese and that's it. We hope you enjoyed all three of these vegan side dishes. While these are great dishes for the summer, they are also perfect for the holiday season as well. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you give one or all of them a try. If you aren't yet, please hit subscribe so you don't miss another one of our videos. We'd appreciate if you could give this video a like and comment down below. Don't forget to check out some of our other delicious vegan side dishes like our vegan potato salad or pasta salad ideas to complete your next menu. Have a great day and remember to smile.